I know eradicating smallpox isn't known as one of the greatest achievements of international cooperation in modern medicine, but it totally should be. Hey peeps, Trace here for DNews. Smallpox is an awful viral infection that's related to the chickenpox, but it is way worse. An infected person incubates for 17 days, during which time they can infect others. And once the virus hits, it causes pains, pox, fever, vomiting, headaches, and general awfulness. Most survive, but they will bear the scars of the pox for the rest of their lives and will sometimes even go blind. This virus was once considered one of the most dangerous in human history, but now it's gone. How does our race go about eradicating a whole disease? Smallpox is the first success because it was once considered the worst to get. First, we had to discover vaccination. In 1796, English physician Edward Jenner discovered if a person was given serum created from the saliva of a cow that had cowpox, which is a virus similar to smallpox, they'd become immune to the human strain. Then in the late 19th century, during the Franco-Prussian War, a smallpox epidemic killed millions. But the 800,000 strong Prussian army, less than 500. The science saved them. The Prussians required their army to get vaccinated. The virus spreads through face-to-face -face contact, usually by saliva from coughs or wayward drops while talking. It took a while to convince the world to stop warring, but in 1966, the United Nations, Soviet Union, United States, and other countries teamed up to get rid of smallpox once and for all. Using a system of inoculation and isolation, these countries and the World Health Organization vaccinated the uninfected and isolated those who were contagious until their danger had passed. The last naturally acquired case was in 1977, and then in 79, 34 years ago this month, it was declared eradicated. Vaccinated people never allow the disease to take a foothold in their bodies, and eventually, without a population to infect, a virus just kind of dies out. Humans have attempted to mimic this success and eradicate other infections like polio, malaria, measles, and mumps. But unlike smallpox, these are considered eliminated, which means there's less than one case per thousand people per year in a country. Most have had some kind of light at the end of their tunnel, but there's no one size fits all for full eradication. So far, we've eradicated smallpox and something called rinderpest, a livestock disease, and both of those were through vaccination. The elimination of measles from many areas worked because of vaccination as well, but now there are people living in countries where it was considered eradicated who are refusing vaccines and spreading the disease to non-immune humans. This is causing what was once a falling number of cases to stall. That is not good. Eradication is a systematic and scientific application of our medical knowledge. But if we can't apply it to everyone, it doesn't work. Science needs all of us, you guys. Do you ever think that we'll eradicate a disease ever again? Let us know down below, and thanks a lot for watching DNews today. Make sure you subscribe so that we can see you next time.